Hi, I'm Doug Young. I'm a contributing editor with Acoustic Guitar Magazine, and today I'd like to demo a new microphone from DPA Microphones for the guitar, the DPA 4099G. Now you can read the full review uh, either online here at AcousticGuitar.com or in the August 2009 issue of Acoustic Guitar Magazine. DPA is a highly regarded, well-known manufacturer of studio condenser microphones, and their microphones are found in, in good studios everywhere and often recommended for acoustic guitar. So it's really uh, exciting to have a, a, a microphone from them designed for live performance. The microphone itself uh, mounts on the guitar. Let me take it off and show you how, it, how it's put together. Um, it's basically two pieces when it's stored. There's a clip that uh, mounts on the body of the guitar. This slides back and forth to accommodate different body depths very easily. The microphone itself is in a, a windscreen, on a shock mount, and on a gooseneck that's flexible. So to assemble this, you simply slide these two pieces together and clip it together with this clip. Fits uh, snugly, but holds the microphone together very well. So you can clip it on the, on the guitar by simply uh, holding the top here and pushing the bottom up until it catches. Once it's there, it's held quite securely mounts uh, on the bottom like that. You could put this in different locations. You could put it down here, uh, over here. I like this location uh, because it's a, a fairly natural position for recording guitar. It's an often recommended spot right where the body and the neck join. Now you can do some adjustments to the tone by moving the microphone. If I want a little more bass, I might move it towards the, the sound hole. If I want more string, I could move it this way. Also, uh, this microphone has a little bit of proximity effect, so uh, proximity effect is the situation with a microphone where the closer to uh, the source that it is, the more bass it picks up. And in this case, if I move it way down, I'm going to get a little more bass. If I move it out, I'll pick up a little more air and a little brighter sound. So we'll just go for a nice compromise, and I'll put the, uh, the microphone right about there. Uh, one thing to watch out for, of course, is when you're picking a location, uh, if you do body percussion or something, you don't want to hit that microphone. So you might have to adjust that. Now, let's look at how this mic connects to your equipment. Uh, there's a six-foot cable, very thin, but it appears to be sturdy, uh, terminating in a microdot connector. This type of connector is uh, meant for a body pack for a wireless system and expects 5-volt phantom power. But the microphone comes with an XLR adapter, and all you do is screw this on. And now I have a standard XLR connector that expects 48 volt phantom power, and I'll plug that into a microphone cord. Uh, in this case, I'm running this into a Pendulum Audio SPS-1 preamp, which provides a mic channel with 48 volt phantom power. You could uh, run this into any mixer that provides phantom power for microphones. Uh, many guitar amps also support that. So let's hear how it sounds. Uh, I will kill the vocal mic and we'll listen to just the DPA-4099. DPA recommends that you combine this microphone with a standard pickup uh, to give you a little more flexibility for controlling feedback and also just uh, for control over the sound. So let's hear how that works. I've, in this guitar, I have a Seymour Duncan mag mic and a K&K &K soundboard transducer. I'll shut the DPA mic off, I'll shut the vocal mic off, and let's listen to uh, just how the pickup sounds by itself. <laughs> So now uh, let's blend in the 4099. I'll just blend it in at exactly the same volume as the, uh, the, the pickup system, and you can hear what, what it does to the sound.
So that's the DPA 4099G. It's a very useful additional tool to have to get a little more natural sound out of your live performance. Uh, this microphone sells for a street price of $599. And you can read the full review uh, along with specifications and so on at AcousticGuitar.com online or in the August 2009 issue of Acoustic Guitar Magazine. For Acoustic Guitar, I'm Doug Young.